Hello everyone, this is One Cook Greek again and I'm ready for a new episode. Generally, people tend to avoid the fish cooking when it comes to the mix, but I can assure you, you can turn your back on this one. It's a traditional all-star in Greece and if it's cooked right, you can stop eating, especially from that thick sauce. Make sure you press the subscribe button and without any more delays, join me to another tasty Greek bestseller cooking dish. That's right, today's performance includes a beloved one, codfish fried and garlic sauce. So, welcome back to my kitchen. There are three steps you need to do in order to make a delicious codfish and a garlic sauce. One, you must boil the potatoes until they're ready to be easily smashed. Two, create the garlic sauce. And the third and last step, prepare the flammery and fry the codfish. For about four persons, you're gonna need a regular sized codfish salted fillet. Do not choose a very thick one, because it's going to be a problem to get rid of the excessive salt. But first, I will touch my magic ball, so I can make a fast trip to the past. So, as you see, this is the codfish, ultra salted. And all we need to do next is to cut it. Cut the fins and keep them aside. Cut and save the codfish tail as well. Now I know that they seem useless, but they'll make the difference later. I will initially cut horizontally, then I'm gonna cut next to the spine. As you see, I always keep my retro bowl. And this is how I separate the last tail parts. A great salting guarantees our success, otherwise the food goes to the garbage. For the desalting, throw the parts in plenty of water. The big secret here is not to change the water often, do it every 6 to 8 hours. A thicker codfish needs to stay 2 days in the water, one and a half or one day for a thinner. We're back to the future! Time to check out our ingredients! For the flammery, we're gonna need a glass of beer, a cup of flour, three small spoons of corn flour, a small spoon with salt, and a half of a small spoon with sugar. For the garlic sauce, we're gonna need 2 to 4 garlic, depending on the quantity of the potatoes and our taste, of course. I'll just use 3. 2 potatoes of medium size, the scraps from the codfish for the broth, a small spoon with lemon, 2 small spoons with vinegar, salt and pepper. Not much! And olive oil, for sure! First things first, we have to boil the potatoes. And 
and we put in the boiling pan the fish scraps we kept the other day. This will give an extra flavor to the garlic sauce. Lower the heat to 15 to 20 percent. Now you can forget them for a while. Really, you can start making the garlic sauce because all the ingredients are based one on the other. Make sure your fillet is dry until now. Let's take an advantage of the time that we have by start making the flummery. Put it in the fridge until it's time to use it. It seems to me that the potatoes are ready. I'll use a fork to check them out. Yeah, they're just great. Now there are two ways to create the garlic sauce and I used to call them the virtuousness or the vice road. So this mortar is the virtuousness road. But for faster results, I will use this multi-mixer. You know, there's a death penalty if you do such things in certain places in Greece. For example, in Kefalonia, Ireland. But anyway, I'm willing to take my chances. Time to create the garlic sauce, step by step. A tip, save some of the potato just in case you get a sparse texture at the end. Throw the potatoes in the multi-mixer. Add 2 to 3 spoons of soup with olive oil, some salt, less than a small spoon, and pepper. Not much. Mix them in the multi initially. Now add some broth from the scraps, melt the garlic. Mix everything so to become one. At the end you must get this mastic texture. If it's sparse, add some potato. If it's too thick, add some broth. Throw in two small spoons with vinegar and one small spoon with lemon. Now mix them good with a spoon. How much strong you want the garlic sauce to be, it is subjective. First you gotta achieve the right texture, the ingredients that grant acidity and the broth. That we decide accordingly to our personal taste. Find your balance, as the great Miyagi said. <laughs> now it's time to fry the codfish. Use some olive oil in the fry pan, just enough to cover the half of the fish. And let the oil burn. You need to cover the pieces in a thin layer of flour. Afterwards, we'll drown them in the flammery and fry them. Heat them slightly so you get rid of the excessive flour. Now the oil is ready. All we have to do is to pass the codfish through the flammery and fry it.
Do not hurry to flip the pieces over, they must get crusty first. I think it's time for the first flip. One more flip and it's ready. Well, this is it from my point of view. It's done. Here's your fried codfish and the garlic sauce.